Hi. To start with, we need a plugin for OBS which can capture from Spout devices. So we Google for Spout OBS. The first hit on GitHub is the one we want. Then we go to releases down there. And then we don't get the beta version, instead we get the installer version. Then we save that somewhere. In this case on the desktop, and then we install that. Then when you've done that, you can do this in OBS. You can add a source, spout to capture. In this case, we also want to support alpha, so we select that. Now we're good to go. Now launching the pro player. And we can have a very small window as this output window will not really be used very much at all. So there we have the small output window up here. Then we select Spout in the Pro Controller. Then we can select the resolution that we want to send. And we leave output to player window as no for now. Now we can verify that the stream is appearing in OBS and scaling it properly. Let's try stopping and starting the spout output. We can also change the resolution to 4K. Now we will have to scale again in OBS. The canvas in this case is 4K. Now we are in Artist and let's create a semi-transparent custom visual. So to illustrate this, we will create just a basic rectangle but this could be um, a PNG with alpha, for instance, or other uh, rendering with alpha. So first we need to set a transparent background by lowering alpha on the output module to zero. Next, let's enable spout from within artist spout output. Then resize the artist window so that we can see what's going on in OBS. Come on, there we go. Now you see the white line has transparency behind it. So now we can also set the alpha value of the uh, line in this case, or this could be uh, other sources of alpha. Finally, let's animate it a little bit so we get some movement when we load it into the player. And a slightly slower animation. Next, we're going to save this and import it into the player. So we save it with some nice name. Then we can close Artist, and we can tab over to our Explorer. Here we're going into the Artist directory and its states directory to copy the file, like so. Copy, and then we're going to paste it into the Pro Player's Custom Visuals and States.
now we can start the pro player and load this visual that we just created. So again, this small window, because we will only be using Spout. And we don't want any output in the window. So now we just have to select the custom visuals pack and then find our file. And there we see in OBS that it's still the same red color and transparent. We can even minimize the output window. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.